Welcome to today's presentation. This is KCC Mathematics Paper 2, 2018, question number 18 on graphical solutions of quadratic equations. So part A, complete the table below for the equation y is x squared minus 4x plus 2. So we have the table as shown and then on the grid provided, draw the graph y is equal to x squared minus 4x plus 2 for the values of x lying between 0 and 5 and then use 2 centimeters to represent 1 unit on the x-axis and 1 centimeter to represent 1 unit on the y-axis. So thereafter for part c we will use the graph to solve the equation x squared minus 4x plus 2 is 0 and finally x squared minus 5x plus 3 is 0. So right to the first part, we are required to complete the table. So what we are simply going to do is we are going to substitute the values of x in the equation and in turn get the values of y. So we may rewrite the equation as y is equal to bracket squared. So the brackets here represents the values of x, so minus 4 into bracket plus 2. So the trick here is to just copy the right hand side of this equation in your calculators and substitute the values of x in the brackets in turns. For example, if x is 0, so we have 0 squared minus 4 times 0, that is 0, plus 2, and that gives us 2. When x is 1, you substitute in a similar manner, and you realize that y becomes negative 1. And if x is 2, so you have 2 squared, that is 4, 4 minus 4 by 2, that is 4 minus 8, which is negative 4, negative 4 plus 2, that is negative 2. Again, for 3, we have 9, 9 minus 12, that is negative 3, negative 3 plus 2, we have negative 1. Then for 4, we have 16, 16 minus 16, 0 plus 2, we have 2. And finally for 5, we have 25 minus 20, that is 5, 5 plus 2, 7. So, that is for part A. For part B, we are required to use the grid provided to draw the graph for the values of x between 0 and 5. So we'll use the table here to draw the graph. So the first thing is to have the x-axis and the y-axis. Remember, for the x-axis, in fact, there is no negative, so we leave a little space for the negative side, and then uh, more space should be allocated for the positive values. So it will therefore follow that our y-axis will be located somewhere like here. Then. For the values of y, we have the maximum positive value is 7 and the minimum is negative 2. So that means we will leave enough space for the positive values again. So we may have it here. So from here we can therefore have the scale for the axis as follows. Remember we are told use 2 centimeters to represent 1 unit on the x-axis. So that means 2 centimeters, 1 big square is equivalent to 1 centimeters in length. Therefore, 2 will be 2 centimeters. So we are told 2 centimeters to represent a unit. So we'll have 1, then 2, the 
think the values the positive values are accommodated here we have 0 and then negative 2 and then on the y axis we are told 1 cm to represent 1 unit on the y axis we will therefore have it as follows from 0 we have 1 then 2 3 so all the values are accommodated the maximum value in our table was 7 and then the minimum so we move to negative 1 negative 2 negative 3 so we can stop there the minimum value was negative 2 so all the values are accommodated as required so the next thing is to now plot so the first point we are going to plot is 0 2 so when x is 0 y is 2 so that will be this point then the next one is 1 negative 1 so we have 1 negative 1 so it's right here then the next one is 2 negative 2 so we will have 2 negative 2 right there then we also have 3 negative 1 so that is 3 negative 1 right there then Once that is done, we can now draw the curve. So we draw a smooth continuous curve. Thereafter, we can therefore write the equation of the curve against it. And the equation is y is equal to x squared minus 4x plus 2. Now once that is achieved, we can now move to part C. So for part C, we are required to use the graph to solve the equation x squared minus 4x plus 2 is 0. So we are going to take the equation of the curve we've just drawn. That is y is equal to x squared minus 4x plus 2 and then subtract the equation that we have to solve so after the equal sign we have zero so that corresponds to y and then the next we have the left hand side of the equation which is x squared minus 4x plus 2 so here we are going to subtract vertically 2 minus 2 is 0 negative 4x minus 4x again 0 x squared minus x squared is 0 and then y minus 0 is y so whatever we have here is y is equal to 0 so we are required to draw the straight line which is y is equal to 0 unfortunately that is the x-axis so the equation for x-axis is y is equal to 0 then we ask ourselves where the line meets the curve so we notice that the line meets the curve at point 0 0.6 and 3.5 so those are the solutions so you come and write x is equal to 0 0.6 or x is equal to 3.5 finally for part d by drawing a suitable line, use the graph in B to solve the equation x squared minus 5x plus 3 is 0. So we're going to apply the same procedure 
we apply the MC. So again you say y is equal to x squared minus 4x plus 2. So this is the equation of the curve we just drew. Then we subtract this one which is 0 for this 0 here is equal to the left hand side x squared minus 5x plus 3 and again subtracting vertically we will have 2 minus 3 is negative 1 negative 4x minus negative 5x that is x so that is 5x minus 4x and then x squared minus x squared is 0 so that is it for the right hand side and then we have y minus 0 is y so here we have equation of a straight line that is y is equal to x minus 1 so we will have to plot points lying on this line and hence draw the line so we we'll have the values of x and y so we just need at least two points that will be enough for us to draw the line so if x is 0 then y is negative 1 so we simply substitute here and the values of x we pick randomly then if x is 2 y becomes 1 so we have 0, negative 1, and 2, 1 to plot. So let's first plot 0, negative 1 right there. And then the next one is 2, 1, 2, 1. Then the moment that is done, we can now draw the line passing through these points ensure that the line cuts the curve and then we can write the equation of the line so again we are going to identify where the line and the curve meet that is where we'll have the solutions the values of x will be the solutions so we will have at this point the value of x is 4.3 x is equal to 4.3 or we may also have x is equal to so let's get the next value so at this point we have 0 0.7 so finally we have solved the quadratic equations graphically and that is it for this question so thank you for your patience thank you for watching until this time hope to see you in the next video